Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a green sheet. If you already have the loop created, you're going to log into mykw.kw.com. Once you're there, you're going to see this is your home screen. Next to the My Transactions, you're going to hit the plus sign, and you're going to go down to the second one, which is Transaction Home. And that will bring you into your dot loop uh, view. You're going to go into your buying loops or your listing loops, depending on which type of a loop it is. And then you're going to click on the address of the file that you need to send the green sheet for. So you're going to just click on the name. The first thing you want to do is over here in your compliance box, you want to make sure that the status says um, either compliance review or approved. If it's in the initiated status, that means that it has not yet been sent to the office for review, so you need to make sure to click on the Submit for Review button. Once you've done that, the second button that you're going to click is right below the Submit Review button. You have Submit Green Sheet. So you're going to go ahead and click on Submit Green Sheet. Now it's going to take you into your green sheet where now you're just going to fill in the blanks. So the first thing you're going to do is transaction type. This is if it's your buyer or if it's your listing. So you want to make sure, and then if you are both sides, you do both buying and listing. The next one is going to be the contract date. You're just going to click on this little calendar here, and you're going to move the months back to whenever the contract date was, and then your closing date. Again, you're going to click on the calendar, and you're just going to choose whichever closing date you have. The second section, the type, class, and source. This is only if it is a short sale, an REO, or a head home. If it's a traditional sale, you can leave this blank. You don't have to fill it out. If it is short sale, HUD home, or REO, you're going to click on the arrow down under select type, and you're just going to select whichever type it was. Under property, you're going to go ahead and put in your MLS number, and you want to make sure that your county is in there. This is going to be your two-letter uh, code for Osceola, Orange County, Volusia, Lake County, anything like that. Under buyer, you want to make sure that you put in the buyer's name. And under seller, you want to make sure you put in your seller's name. We don't need a phone number and we don't need addresses for the buyer or the seller. So once you have that filled in, you're just going to hit the yellow submit button. Now what that's going to do is that's going to take all that information that you just entered and it's going to auto-populate it into the proper fields into your green sheet. So now, anything that is in red is going to be required. So you need to fill out, is there an outside referral? What that means is are you giving out a portion of your, of your commission? And if there is, then you would put yes. If there is not, you'll just put no. Is this a hogger deal? What this means is that if you are on one side, is, the, is there a Keller Williams Advantage agent on the other side? If it is, you're going to put yes. If it, it is not, you're going to just put no. As you come down, you'll see that your contract date and your close date were automatically populated from the previous screen. Under transaction, you want to make sure that you put in the class. Um, typically, it's just going to be property. And then over on the right, you're going to do property type. With this, it's typically going to be resale. It's going to be for any home that was previously owned. If it's a new home build, you'll do new home. And if it's vacant land, you'll do lot. As you come down, you'll see that everything in here was automatically populated, so you're just going to hit the green next section. In here, you're going to put in your sale price. You don't have to put any commas. You don't have to put any dollar signs. Then below here, you're going to click on if you were receiving a percentage for commission or if it was a flat fee for commission. Typically, it's going to be percentage. And then you're going to put in what percent you received. You'll notice that as soon as you put in the percent that you received, it auto-populates the calculation so you don't have to do it. Then you're going to hit the green next section. In the buyer section, we already have the buyer's name. That's all that we need. So you'll just hit next section. And the same with the seller. All we needed was their name, so we'll just hit next section. In here, your name will automatically populate here. Because I am not an agent, it doesn't populate for me. The next section you're going to do is the agent role. 
This is, were you on the buyer side or the listing side? The type, again, is going to be if it was a sale or if it was a listing. The agency, this is who did we represent. So we represented the buyer because it was a sale. And now the sales unit. What this means is that how much of the 3% commission are you going to receive? If you're receiving 100% of the commission in the sales unit, you're going to put 1. If you are splitting the commission with another agent, let's say you're on a team, under Agent B, you're going to click the magnifying glass, and you're going to search the last name of that agent. And once their name comes up, you're going to highlight it, and then you're going to hit Select. And now you're going to fill out the same things on Agent B as you did for yourself. And now under your sales unit, let's say you're giving the other agent a 25% referral. You're going to put you as getting 0.75 and the other agent is getting 0.25. The important thing to remember is that the sales unit for both A and B must equal 1 because 1 equals 100% of the commission. As you come down, the bonus admin fee, this is going to be for your broker fee. So if you are receiving the 395 or the 295 or the extra 100, depending on what you charge, that's where you're going to put it. And then as you come down, you're going to fill out your KW Cares. The tax deductible donation, that is for um, the international KW Cares. And then you have the KW Family Fund. The Family Fund, that was um, the fund that's going to go to the families of the Keller Williams in Des Moines that is not receiving full commissions. So again, if you're not going to donate, just put zero. If you are, put in whatever number you want. As you come down, we've got deductions. Deduction one, that's going to be your MC fee. So in this first line, you're going to put MC fee. And in the second line, you're just going to put the 100, which is the $100 fee for the Market Center. As you come down, you're going to click Next Section. In the co-broker section, this is where you're going to put in the information for the agent that was on the other side of the transaction. So you're going to put in their brokerage. If it's Keller Williams, you just put Keller Williams. Maybe they were at the parks. If it's a Remax, Coldwell Banker, anything like that, you'll just put in that information. You're going to put in the agent's email. and the co-broker's name, and then their phone number. Now, for Oviedo agents, you get to rate the agents, A through F. F means that no way you would never do a deal with them again. You don't want them in Keller Williams ever. A means that they were the perfect example of an agent, that you want them to be joining Keller Williams. Um, and B through E is going to be anything in between. As you come down, you're going to again hit Next Section. The Vendor section, this we do not need any information for, so again, you can just click Next Section. And then in this very bottom section is going to be your notes. This is going to be notes that you are sending to the Market Center Administrator, so your MCA. If there's something funky on this deal, if there's money that's being handled uh, between the agents that is different than normal, or if you just haven't seen your MCA in a while and you just want to say hi. Once you're done with that, you're going to hit Submit to MCA. Then you're going to hit the Submit Green Sheet. Once you hit Submit Green Sheet, then you're going to either get a big red box up at the top that says that you are missing something, and it will tell you exactly where you were missing it, or you will get a nice approved message. So right here, we see that Agent Detail section information was missing. So it's going to tell you what it was and where it came from. So now, over off to the left, I know that I'm going to the Agent Detail section, so I can just click on Agent Detail, and now it's going to show me everything that I missed. Then again, now that I've filled everything in, we're just going to submit to MCA and submit the green sheet.
So now everything is complete. Now you're going to get the status of partially accepted. That means that it is now at the MCA's desk and they are going to review it and issue your disbursement authorization. And that's it. That's how you submit a green sheet.